Here's how we can play Ring of Fire by the legendary Johnny Cash. Let me give you a quick demo of what we're going to be going for in this tutorial. Just using the chords G major, C add 9 and D major. Love is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down and the flames went higher and it burns, burns, burns the ring of fire the ring of fire and we'll also cover how to play the little melody That's what we'll cover in this tutorial. Some chord sheets will show you using a standard G chord and a standard C chord. I just advise, just because of the quick change and the way I would play this, uh, using a G chord with all four fingers and then moving those first two fingers down for the uh, C add nine, as we call it. And on the C add nine, I just activate this thumb and just bring it on top so that we can actually pick this string, this string six, when we hit this E add nine chord, and it's not going to ring out. And the other chord is the D major. So the lyrics for the first verse and the chords go, Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. Now as we go through this verse, you'll realize that the count is not always the same. We have four beats in a bar in this song, usually, not for every bar. In the verse we do have some um, that are shorter. So it's really best just to keep this strumming pattern, uh, which is the root note of the chord, in this case the thickest string on the G, and then down up. That's all it is. It's a repetition of pick, down, up. Played up to speed. We start to get that kind of country Johnny Cash feel. Keep that going. Ideally, you'd have a go at this along to the original recording as well. And on the lyrics, love is a burning thing. So it was burning in this case, but there's always that melody. It's always the same cadence of the words. Da, 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 da. That higher one. Da, 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 da. It's always the C add nine in that same spot. It's just not always uniform when we go there, the, the timing of it. So as an example again, and on the uh, picking side, we can either try and pick string five on the C add nine, or just always pick kind of the thicker two strings and have this thumb here saving our bacon because we can just always hit the thicker couple of strings. That's a little tip there, but this, whichever option you're going for, we're really using a lot of wrist motion and very little arm motion because we're playing faster. There's no way we can do this fast and keeping it all arm movement. We need the wrist fairly, um, st not going wild, fairly still, but very loose so that it is free to move and drop down for the strum really drops all the way down for the, for the strum and is doesn't drop and you just kind of let like Elsa let it go just let it drop and then back let it drop let it go back <laughs> be like Elsa is a burning thing it's always to the sea until the last one and it makes Fiery ring <laughs> bound by wild desire, and it's this time I fell into a ring of fire. Exactly the same thing, 
thing happens when the happens, but you could also just stay on the G for that part. But really, when that trumpet's playing, it's that same melody. When that melody changes, we do the same move. It was just on, I fell into a ring of fire, that we go to that G. D major chord for the chorus, and it's the same strumming, but the bars and beats are more uniform here. One, two, three, four, C, add nine to G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With the picking. So that strumming pattern where we're picking one single string and doing the little strum, especially when it's up to speed, is a real intermediate level strumming pattern. Don't let anyone tell you that's a beginner level skill, it is not. Beginner level skills are always strumming like most of the strings most of the time. We're not really picking out individual strings at that kind of speed. If you're more of a beginner, just do down, down, up, down, down, up. It'll be absolutely fine. So same. Same kind of idea, okay? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. But it's really cool if we can start to on that first down, on the down that's on its own, just hit the thicker few strings. And the chorus is a great example of that because we don't have to pick out one single string there. We can just hit the thicker kind of two or three strings, uh, but making sure our thumb's on the top. something definite to try. You've got those two options. Let's go through this song now, just that first kind of verse and then chorus. Find your way of playing along to me, then have a go yourself using the chord sheet and try playing along to the recording if you can. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up okay. Here we go. In one, two, three, four. Bam, ba -da, ba -da. Here we go with the verse. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. Chorus now. I fell into a burning ring of fire I fell down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire And we'll leave it there Because if you can get that it's just a repetition of that for the whole rest of the song. Quick note, uh, I'm filming this as one of the first tutorials after the Christmas break. I'm filming this right at the start of January. Before yesterday, I hadn't played guitar for two weeks and even I've got massive lines on my fingers uh, from playing this song because we basically have four fingers down throughout the whole song. And if you're learning a song, that can mean you have all four fingers down for most of the time that you're practicing, which is something to be really aware of if you're restarting guitar or learning these kind of songs. You need to vary that. You can't be using all four fingers down for like an entire practice session. It's just going to make your fingers really hurt and it's going to make you not want to play guitar tomorrow. What I advise is you vary trying out these type of songs where we're using chords all the time with some single note practice. It will definitely be the thing. If you wanted to get this kind of pick, strum, 
mm. and um, and not have your fingers hurt all the time as well, you want to try out some single uh, note riffs. I will leave some helpful links on screen and in the description now for those sort of acoustic guitar riffs to try. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my Andy Guitar YouTube channel if you haven't already, and you'll find more help at andyguitar.co.uk and on the Andy Guitar app. I hope to see you there.